Keisha, uh, coming back to you, um, how just pervasive do you think this, the problem of indoctrination is across the country? And, and what, what do you see, and, and what are some practical things that you think um, that parents can do? Just, just in a very real way that you've seen that, how can they get involved? What advice would you have to offer? Um, it is extremely pervasive. Um, I don't think parents realize just how pervasive it is. I know in Duval County, I found critical race theory workshops and events um, as far back as 2011. And I'm sure there are, are other things before that because obviously it had to be something before that for it to even be a workshop. So um, I think understanding that they are not kidding this is not going away. The enemy has no chill and is advancing forward as fast. We can see it. I mean, you're at home wanting, trying to make peanut butter and jelly sandwiches for your kids, and the FBI could be knocking at your door because you might have said the wrong thing at a school board meeting. These people, they're not, they are serious. They want to silence us and shut us down. Um, I really think at this point, the only thing to do is have a mass exodus from the public school system. That's it. Mm. Mm. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. God bless you. Wow, thank, thank you. <laughs> Let's do it. I mean, you know, I was thinking, I was talking to uh, my mom's for Liberty group this morning and with this FBI thing, it, it just made me realize like, what else are we supposed to do? They, standing up to these people doesn't seem to matter. I mean, we have, all of us, you know, we've been at these school board meetings. We've been voicing our opinions. We're writing articles. We are, we're right, we're emailing teachers. We're, we're doing all, we're being, we're doing all that stuff and they don't care. So I, I'm like, the only thing left to do is to just mm -hmm. peace out, <laughs> you know? I mean, and I think that is, that will really send the message um, when our, when they can't take the money for, for our child being in their school. And I mean, I am willing to, I think what we need to do it has to be us all doing it together. So maybe we can, after we can get together and figure out how we, you know, do it all at one time. So it really sends the message. You do not have the right to indoctrinate our children. They are our children. They were given to us by God and you do not have the right to teach this nonsense. I... <laughs> I, it is infuriating that, um, that they think that they do have the right to take our tax-paying dollars from our children and then teach them garbage. I mean, they don't even bother to teach math, reading, science, language arts. They're like, uh, that's, we don't need to do that. Let's, uh, let's just give them critical race theory and teach them how to organize and be little mini Marxists and activists. Like, no, no, thank you. We don't want that. You know, so I, 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 that is, that's all I got. I feel like that's the only thing left to do, honestly, is just a mass exodus. We just got to pull them out. I know it's hard. It's going to be tough, but if we're not going to, Two things that I believe each and every one of us will stand, will put our life on the lines for our faith and our children. This is that moment. This is happening right before our eyes. Michelle Bachman said it last night. This is the time. This is the revelation period, y'all. This is it. Like, it's happening. This is not a show. <laughs> and so I, I want to go down as, you know, standing up for what I believe in, period. And I'm willing to put my life on the line for it. So Yeah. And, and, we're, and we're seeing evidence, evidence of what you're talking about, the exodus. Uh, homeschooling is uh, more than double just uh, since the pandemic started. And so it's incredible to see what's happening now.